Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil, and from today we are going to start a new series with the Node.js. So let's start with the question: Why should you join this course? As we know on the internet, there is a lots of courses available related to the Node.js. So what is so special here? The answer is here. Here we will cover all topics of Node.js with example, and I will tell you where you can use these topics and feature in real time projects. After that, we will definitely work with the APIs and database. And here we will use two database. One is MongoDB. Second one is MySQL. And after creating this course, we will create two projects also. One with the React JS and second one with the Angular. And during this uh, uh, videos and this series, we will discuss important interview questions also, so that you can get prepared for interviews also uh, with that course. And if after that, if you still have any query, you can ask me in the comment box on or my Instagram account also. I will definitely reply to you. And the code that we will do in these our videos will available on the GitHub account, and link will be provided with the every videos description box. And uh, at the last, we will create a project, and I will tell you how we can make a build of it and how we can uh, upload it on the server also. Right. So now let's see what we are going to learn in this video. First of all, I will tell you what is Node.js, why do we use it, uh, some historical point with for the Node.js, and uh, there is a very important topic: Are Node.js and JavaScript are same? We will discuss some points on it. After that, I will tell you why should you learn Node.js. As we know, there is a lots of other frameworks and uh, programming language and libraries. So why Node.js is so special? So we'll discuss about it. And at the last, we will discuss some important topics that we will learn in this complete series. Yes, we will learn definitely all topics, but I will give you a uh, name of some major topics so that you can just get the idea that uh, which video will become first and which video come uh, after that, right? The question is, what is Node.js? Keep in mind, Node.js is not a programming language. Many beginners and freshers have that query that uh, is Node.js a programming language? No, this is not a programming language. Yes, Node.js internally use JavaScript to run its code, right? But this is not a programming language. First thing is clear. Second thing, so what is that actually? What is Node.js? So this is a, a not a programming language. So this is a library framework. What is that? So see, this is a server environment. Here we will use JavaScript to run our code. But obviously, this is a, ser a server environment. That definitely, there is some extra features to the JavaScript. Like in JavaScript, we cannot connect database. We cannot handle file system. We cannot create APIs. But with the Node.js, we can create all these things. We can create uh, uh, APIs. We can connect with the database. Lots of things, right? But as I told you, in the Node.js, we internally use uh, JavaScript. So code syntax and code base is very similar, but not exactly same. Uh, you can say that it's around 90% same, but 10% is a difference. Because as we can see that uh, it has some extra features like uh, database connection, APIs and file system L and all. So definitely there is some different things also. So still 90% code base is same. Node.js is totally free and this is open source. And uh, Node.js internally use V8 engine to execute the code. Right. And in that uh, V8 engine, we basically use the JavaScript. Even Chrome browser, uh, where we just use JavaScript, this also use the Chrome V8 engine, right? So keep in mind, Node.js basically is a server side environment and it internally use JavaScript to execute its code and uh, how it can execute with the help of Chrome V8 engine. So let's move on to another thing. Why do we use Node.js? So see, Node.js is uh, mostly used for create APIs. Right. Keep in mind, we can also uh, create UI with the help of uh, Node.js, but mostly uh, Node.js is used for creating APIs. If uh, some company hire you for Node.js, there is a 99% even you can say that uh, not 99%, but 95% there is a chances that you have to uh, create API for them. Right. Basically, for UI, uh, we use uh, React, 
view or uh, angular right and uh, node.js is basically used for create apis so how it's actually work in node.js we create the apis and web apps and mobile apps basically uh, use these api and they can indirectly connect with the database why i am saying indirectly because web apps and mobile apps directly cannot connect with the database but apis which is created with the node.js can provide the data and provide the uh, operation that can perform on the database right and so that we can indirectly access the data all right so node.js is easy to understand who have knowledge of uh, javascript so let's say you are a javascript developer or you are an angular or react js developer then you can easily understand the node node.js because as i told you 80 to 90 percent code is similar so that uh, whenever you will just check out the code you can easily understand that code the what is that function means and what is the meaning of this syntax and all so this is really easy for uh, the developers who have the knowledge of javascript so this is definitely fast for uh, apis because this is the uh, uh, have the uh, asynchronous behavior also and uh, so if you are a javascript developer and if you learn node.js then you can become a full stack developer also and definitely you will get a better salary package so let's talk about some history and some uh, more points the first release is done in uh, may 27 2019 current version is 14 point uh, 16.4 and this is written in the C, C++ and in the mostly in the JavaScript. So uh, please uh, don't be confused here that uh, you have to learn here C++, JavaScript and all. We don't need to learn these things. Actually, Node.js is just written in these programming languages, right? But we just have to learn uh, Node.js here. So after that, are JavaScript and Node.js are same? See, the code of JavaScript and Node.js are mostly similar if you have the knowledge of JavaScript you can easily understand the code of node.js even at the first look you can definitely get the give the answer that uh, uh, this this syntax will do that work and all but 100% is not same right because in the node we have some extra features like uh, we can connect with the database uh, we can handle the file system we can create the API's and all right that's why this is not 100% same but if you have JavaScript knowledge, then you can easily learn and understand Node.js. There is some other differences also, like uh, we cannot connect JavaScript with the database, as I already told you. And uh, Node.js is basically run on the server side, right? And JavaScript basically run on our browser. All right. So why should you learn uh, Node.js? So why you should not learn... Uh, PHP, Python, and ASP and all. So where are the other options also? So first thing is that it's totally up to you what you want to learn. But if you are a JavaScript developer or you are React, Angular, or a Vue developer, then I will strongly recommend you to go for the Node.js. The reason is you can say that here 50% work is already done because you know the JavaScript and Node is almost about the JavaScript. So almost you just uh, know that how uh, js is actually works and uh, syntax code and everything you already know that right so you just need to know the basis and uh, architecture structure and uh, database connection and apis and all and after that you will be definitely a full stack developer and after whenever you will become a full stack developer definitely you will get a better salary as compared to web developer angular developer or uh, react developer because now you are a, a totally a person who can handle the ui as well as the backend and this is more in demand as compared to web developer and php developer also right so now let's take a look on the major topics that we will learn in this complete series as i already told you we will learn all topics but still i want to just mention some major topics so we will learn what is node.js that we already learned how it's actually work I will show you with the proper graphs and uh, everything so that you can just get that okay so this is the node.js and how it's actually work and how its code actually executed after that we will learn how we can install it and run it we will make some basic apis i will tell you how we can use it with the express.js 
and uh, let's say you want to develop some web, web pages with the help of uh, node then i will tell you how you can handle the ui events like click events and mouse events and all how we can create form form validations web pages etc after that we will jump on node.js events middleware some important npm package also after that how we will we will learn that how we can connect with the mongo and mysql we will create some major apis after some basic apis like uh, delete put get and save we will learn some major apis also like shorting pagination and uh, uh, filter and all after that uh, uh, we will learn that how we can provide the securities to the apis and how we can implement some tokens like passport jwp and all apis valid validation so that uh, we can uh, prevent our apis to store the wrong data and uh, after that we will create a project not a we will definitely create we will do two projects with one with the react and another one with the uh, angular and uh, after that we will create a build and uh, make our project live so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, thank you so much for watching this video